Howdy y'all, Q here. Today I'm going to be going over something that actually does not use the guitar. Today we're going to be talking about why you suck at wave shape modulation. If you made it this far, welcome to the Q show. Gonna learn a thing, it's probably in the title. All right, so before I get started, I need you guys to promise me that you're not gonna get too wrapped up in all the buttons and stuff. The only thing we're gonna be looking at today is probably these three things and this oscillator. I'm gonna turn some knobs, but it's just to demonstrate the concept. It's not really the concept itself. This synthesizer or your DAW, whatever the case may be, many of them will have the ability to transition from one shape to another. For example, on this one, you can go between any of these three shapes, in this case, the saw, to a sort of variation of that saw shape, and you'll see it over here. Cool, right? A really easy way to breathe some life into a sound is to have the synth modulate between those two in some way. So if you're holding a note and you increase the modulation between those two shapes, it's gonna give you a little bit more life to the sound. Now let me show you an example of when that would make a big difference. I'm gonna roll off some of the high end. I'm gonna play a line. Now that's really basic, but if you add something like this, You start approaching a way more like a live sound that kind of moves you, grabs your ear more, makes you want to listen. And there we have it. Hopefully you guys learned a little something about wave shape modulation as you kind of get into sound design with synthesizers. That concept though could be applied to like so many things. I hope first, I would like to thank my Patreon supporters. They're coming, I promise. If you like what you saw here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out my Instagram and my Patreon. I'll see you next time on The Q Show.